want to start off by saying thank you, Deb Ward. She has done most of the late work this year for the Grant Writing Committee. And from all of us and me, thank you. The Grant Writing Committee consists of a group of seven students. Tom Lee from Team Garrett, Max Ford from Team Jacob, Hannah Mosman from Team Rosa and Caitlin, Maya Gonzinski and Megan Ziegler from Team Daisy, Jenna Garman from Team Mikkel, and myself, Abby Carmichael from Team Daniel. According to the surveys we did at the beginning of the year, not a whole lot of people in the community recycled. This could be because of various things, lack of time, inconvenience, or they had no idea that Oakland had a recycling program. In Grant Zeeble's report in Partners in Pollution Prevention, Grant had mentioned that Oakland currently has a 40% capture rate. This means that 40% of recyclable material is recovered. Our surveys and Mr. Zeeble's report show that Oakland could improve recycling volume by making people more aware of the opportunity to recycle, which already exists in Oakland. At the beginning of the year, each group was assigned a group leader that would present all the plans that we developed. After all the teams developed a plan, we realized that they all had a major thing in common. Each plan included public education about recycling in our community. This could be to educate the public on recycling, what to recycle, where to recycle, how to recycle, and why it's, why it's important. We came up with ways on how to address this need and reach our goal. We can start by putting up signs at the dump, labeling where each recyclable goes. We can increase awareness through newspaper ads, a public service announcement, social media, and putting posters around town about recycling. The total estimated cost to implement this plan would be around $2,000. There are major benefits to recycling. Based on Grant Zeeble's report, if we increase recycling, it saves Oakland money in the long run. Oakland receives $18,000 in revenue and tipping fees a year with the current capture rate, which is 40%. This would increase to $23,000 a year with a 50% capture rate. Or we can even get $34,000 a year with a 75% capture rate. Recycling reduces the need for extracting, refining, and processing raw materials. All these create substantial air and water pollution. As recycling saves energy, it also reduces greenhouse gas emissions, which helps to tackle climate change. Recycling also conserves space in our landfill, helps create jobs, and provides material for manufacturing. Our grant writing group has been meeting to discuss possible funding sources. We had several meetings with the Papio Missouri River NRD to learn about applying for grants and different types of funding sources. We have decided to request, request funds from the Lower Elkhorn NRD because Oakland is located in their service area. If the LENRD is not able to provide funds or cannot provide enough funds to complete the project, we will then apply for grants from local community sources such as the Friends of Oakland Foundation. We also met with representatives of First Star Recycling who may, be, who may be able to provide some training videos and resources to help implement our plans. The local NRDs have also indicated they can provide support and resources to help implement a public education awareness campaign. We expect to have additional meetings and strategy sessions to prepare our funding requests. We understand that First Star Recycling may be doing some additional assessment of our current recycling program and may make recommendations which would expand the current program. If Oakland decides to adopt some, of, some or all of the recommendations made by First Star, we will need to revise our budget for our proposed plan. As soon as we have a final budget, we will move forward with our requests for funding.